your boy Sven hey you might be thinking man this guy sounds like he is lacking some enthusiasm what is going on with him <laughs> nah it's like it's I woke up at like 5 30 in the morning it's about 20 minutes after that after, since I've been up my third I bought the subscriber Sunday commentary out really quick I saw that uh my nice little DJ Keemstar commentary just got done uploading, so I want to put the link for that in the description for any of you guys that may want to go check that out. Um, it wasn't like the Sven DTV promo one I did where I just talked about it briefly. I actually go in depth. I think it was like a 14 minute video. So go on over, check that out. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description. But on to. Subscriber Sunday. First question this week for Subscriber Sunday is from our boy Matt, aka Video Begins in 321. He says, Hey Beast, have you ever seen two girls, one cup? If so, how did you react to it and who showed you it? Yes, I have seen two girls, one cup. It was actually, uh, quite some time ago um i would say the first time and yes there have been multiple times i'd have to say two or three times to be exact i would have to say probably a few years ago um i was at a party i remember the first time i saw it i was at a party at my friend dave's house and we call him g deal double g um i was at a party at his house and like somebody was just talking about it and it was one of those things where they didn't really tell us what it was. They're like, yo, you got to see this type of thing. I reacted to it same, the <laughs> same way other people usually do. It was the first time I'd actually saw something like on that much of a shock level, I guess you could say. So I was just like, what the fuck? What the hell? My apologies. <laughs> yeah, see, kind of like you did in this... Uh, private message if you haven't seen it watch it now it's so hot yeah yeah that's the kind probably the kind of thing that they pulled on me and then the next one is from soccer 19 and he says what are some of your favorite bands hmm ah, had some coffee having a little coffee talk with my wonderful subscribers favorite bands would be Led Zeppelin Metallica, and uh, I was trying to give you a third one. I mean, you know, I like Sabbath. Uh, I like ACDC. Oof, I don't know, but Zeppelin and Metallica. I don't even need a third one. Those are my two uh, two favorite bands, probably in that order. The next one is from Jackson Colbert Nation. Who in the community do you admire? slash look up to the most you know this is one of those questions that i really like i do gotta say i love it i love it a lot um you know i can't think of anybody in particular but i will say that i do really admire people that aren't afraid to speak their opinions that you know if they have something they feel that other people are going to give them a hard time about or troll them about Yet they still go up, do a video about it, and share their opinions respectfully on the matter. I, you know, I can really respect, respect a lot of people because so many people are so wrapped up and so worried about, you know, getting dislikes and stuff in their videos. And, and like, honestly, I don't, I don't think any of you guys need to be worrying about stuff like that. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. Have fun with it. And, and that's, that's another group of people, people that actually truly have fun with this. It's it's very 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 tellable when you're listening to a commentator who actually does have fun, you know, as opposed to somebody who's doing it just to try to get some money off of it, so on and so forth. The quality of the commentary increases drastically 
when you get somebody, you know, that that's doing this for a passion, for a hobby, because they love doing it. I mean, you can just see so much more personality in those videos. Um, commentators in particular, you know, obviously I, I could say or say Hutchins and Anners because they, uh, you know, did a lot for the community, this and that. But you know, it's the upcoming commentators that I really look up to the most because those are the guys that I'm putting a lot of leg in a, a lot of leg work into myself to try to help out as much as I possible as much as I possibly can you know make sure that everyone's kind of got the right head on their shoulders and, and none of these dudes turn out to be the next wings of redemption not in terms of size in terms of attitude <laughs> so hopefully that answers the question um, I really do like that question though the next one is from the funky chicken <laughs> this is gonna this is kind of ironic based on what I was just saying when I made videos I got a hundred plus views but more dislikes than likes does that mean my videos are crap no it means absolutely nothing at all in some instances you could have done a video that some people disagreed with your opinion you might have uh, offended them by you know saying something about their favorite commentator I'm not exactly sure of the situation um, it does not mean that you made a crappy video at all. I have a video with 200 likes. Does that mean that I'm one of the best commentators on YouTube? No. It means that I, you know, I had people that agreed with my points in the video, agreed with my opinions, so on and so forth. People should look at likes and dislikes as a basically look at it look at it as constructive criticism. If people, if you're getting dislikes on your videos, you know, if it's more than five or so, I wouldn't be, I have videos with 40 or 50 dislikes. Granted, you know, I don't think I have a video where the dislikes are more than the likes, but I do have videos with a lot of dislikes. And you know, it, I, I, I really don't mind it at all. It's, I basically look at it as, um, you know, a way to gauge my commentaries, but when I do opinionated commentaries, I look at it in a very different manner, a completely different manner. Um, but you know, what you should do if you have another video like that, or if you, if anyone has something like that in the future, if you're that concerned about it, just ask your audience, you know, say, hey guys, you know, I was just curious, I got, I got a lot of ratings, um, a lot of dislikes my last video, so I was wondering what it is that I could have done better. Boom. You know, um, definitely use the feedback of your, of your audience and your close subscribers to heart, because those are the guys that will probably tell you how it is, and be completely open and honest with you. I like that question, Todd. I like these questions this week. This guy asks, this is Fresh Gaming Vids, and he says, he asks who my favorite UFC fighter is. You know, I don't really get into UFC. Um, kind of shoot the shit with people about it sometimes. I uh, follow it very, very loosely. Very, very loosely. Um, let me think off the top of my head. If I had to pick one, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'd have to get back to you on that. Favorite UFC fighter? I don't, no, that's nothing like UFC. Huh. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Maybe I'll save this question and I'll answer it next week. The next one is from Danny Daniel Owell, 52. Were you affected by Hurricane Katrina in any way? Wow. Wow. I just said Hurricane Katrina. Were you affected by Hurricane Irene in any way? That's the hurricane that just went up the east coast of the United States. For those of you that may not know, Katrina was way long ago in a way different part of the country. Um, yes and no. You know, it, um... I don't know, because we, we got hit pretty hard the night it was supposed to hit, you know, the northern east coast, which is kind of where I'm at, but I don't know if it was from, yeah, it, no, duh, it was from Hurricane Irene. Um, yeah, you know, we had a couple of pretty bad storms, but, um, 
It's we didn't get like flooded or anything like that. It, it wasn't like how you know the people that live right on the coast were affected, but yeah, we got you know we got hit. And the last one is from Mr. Rock Bark Sweet, and he says Megan Fox or Pamela Anderson. I would have to go Megan Fox, other than those uh, toe thumbs that she has. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Go to YouTube or Google search bar and type in Megan Fox thumbs and you'll see thousands of pictures of her thumbs because they look like toes. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, I would go Megan Fox. She's a cutie otherwise. But anyways, people, that is Subscriber Sunday for this week. If you want to get involved, all you got to do is send me a private message titled Subscriber Sunday. You can ask me anything you want and as many questions as you want. But until next time, people, it's your boy Sven D, and I'm out. Don't forget to read the description.